Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the NKJV Large Print Wide Margin Reference Bible from Thomas Nelson. Okay, I'm excited about this one. This is an awesome Bible. If you haven't seen it already, I did an unboxing video with this Bible just a few days ago. It's really fun to get my first impressions kind of recorded so you could share those. And I'm, I'm having fun with those unboxing videos for sure. But this is a, a new wide margin Bible from Thomas Nelson. They made it in this, which is the premier collection, the premium goatskin edition with the nice European paper. They also have it in a, a less expensive leather soft edition as well. But this is a, a really awesome Bible that a lot of people have been excited about because it just offers a new wide margin uh, option for NKJV fans, which is really cool. I mean, if you're going for like a premium, really nice, high quality wide margin Bible, in the NKJV, your best option has been the um, NKJV wide margin from Cambridge, which I recently reviewed, so you can definitely check that out. I'm gonna show you that side by side with this one in this video. Um, I, Skyler is starting to spread their Quintel series into wide margins. NASB is here, ESV is coming out. I'm assuming NKJV will be here uh, sooner than later, but um, I love this Bible because it's different than those other ones. It does a few things differently, and it, so it gives you more options. This may not be the one for you, and that's what I'm trying to do with these videos, is help you determine if this is the Bible for you, but it definitely has a lot of really cool features that people have been excited about this Bible, and I think they've been excited about it for good reason, or at least the folks at Thomas Nelson have responded to that excitement with a really fantastic, beautiful Bible that I'm very excited about. So yeah, let's take a closer look at this Bible. I'm gonna walk you through all of the different features of it, show you all the different specs, um, if you haven't seen my channel before and you're new here, definitely consider subscribing because I do Bible reviews like this and other Bible-related content. So here we go. This is the NKJV Large Print Wide Margin Reference Bible. Okay, starting with the box. Really lovely gray two-piece box from the Premier Collection. See all the information on the outside. If you watch my unboxing video, you can see my, my trick on how to get this out of the black paper that it's wrapped in on the inside. But great boxes, look really great. And there's the Bible. I was pleasantly surprised. I, I don't know why, but this is, seems like an extra floppy piece of goatskin on here. Um, a lot of the NKJV Premier Collection Bibles are brown, and so I like that they've done this one in black, and that they did, that Zondervan did their NIV side column reference recently in brown. It kind of mixes it up a little bit, but really, really nice grain on this, as you can see in there. Got a little dust on it, but very, very nice and floppy. It's got a perimeter stitch around the outside. It has raised spine hubs. There you go. Holy Bible, New King James Version, Thomas Nelson. It's hard to get the whole thing in there. It's so big. It's a big Bible, but it looks really, really sharp all the way around. You've got red under gold. It's a real faint red, kind of pink there, but really nice art gilding. It does have a gilt line around the inside. You see it says genuine leather. It's an edge line construction. Whoops, edge line. It's got a sewn binding. Looks really sharp. Somebody asked me on the other video, the unboxing video, to show you the ribbon. So you get two double-sided, three-eighths inch black ribbons and one red ribbon. So I think the idea is there you have a couple, one in the Old Testament, one in the Psalms, one in the New Testament, but however you'd like to do it. Just looks really sharp from the outside, big and floppy. It is a big Bible. So as far as size goes, this is seven and a half inches wide at the text block and it's nine and a quarter inches tall. So just compared real quick and then thickness, real I, just a hair under 1.75 inches thick. So I'm going to pull in the, this is the Cambridge NKJV wide margin. They're pretty close. The yap, which is the, the, the amount the cover hangs over here, it's a bit, slightly bigger yap on the Thomas Nelson, so it actually makes it look bigger uh, than the other one, but they're very, very similar, only about a quarter of an inch on either side. But then if you, I'll just show you real quick on the inside. I'm not fully there, but you see how different they are because this is a large print. So you get a 10 and a half point font versus like an eight point font, but obviously the, y, the margins are bigger all the way around on the Cambridge. So let me know if you want me to do a side-by-side -side comparison video of these two and like really take time on that because those are kind of the two premium uh, NKJV wide margins that are out there. But so again, it's seven and a half by nine and a quarter. So you'll see seven and a half. That means it's opening up to like 15 inches plus here when you really lay it 
wide open. It's a big wide Bible, but seven and a half by nine and a quarter and one and three quarters inches thick, just a hair less than that. Okay, opening it up, we get here on the inside, kind of a couple of thick end pages here. You get a presentation page, title page, and then here's your copyright page. So you get NKV, NKJV Wide Margin Reference Bible. It doesn't say large print. So the box says large print, wide margin. The stuff online says wide margin, large print. And then this says wide margin reference Bible. But it is a large print. All the information down here about printed in China. Information about the NKJV Comfort Print Typeface, which is designed by 2TK Denmark. Table of Contents. The preface to the New King James Version. Pretty short and simple. I definitely suggest you read that. Um, and then you get in to the text. You see a couple of things. It, it will lay open pretty, pretty nice right here. You get a book introduction at the beginning of each book. You get a two-column text. Let me just open this up so you can kind of see it here. You get a two-column text with notes and references at the bottom. So this, this has over 72,000 cross-references, and it has the full set of the NKJV translator notes. I have people ask me a lot of times if it has the full set, yes. And one of the reasons you want the NKJV translator notes is because the textual basis of the New King, I'm gonna get really nerdy here for a second. The textual basis for the NKJV uses the more traditional um, editions of the Greek and the Hebrew and the Aramaic text, but the translation notes, they they refer to a lot of the more modern, updated Things. So if you really like the textus receptus and things like that, that's what's used in the text, but you also get the translation notes. So if there's an update or some uh, new archaeological information or new studies from biblical scholars that kind of give us more information about the text, you'll find those in the textual notes at the bottom of the page. So really great two-column text. You do notice that this is a verse-by-verse -verse Bible, which is really cool. So it's a verse-by-verse -verse reference Bible with wide margins. And then I'm just going to let you kind of see the page here as you open it up. Really, really lovely. Big wide margins out here on the outside of the page, just a hair over an inch wide. A smaller margin on the inside. You do get some space in here. I saw somebody commented on my, my unboxing video that they were bummed that the text went into the gutter. That, to me, is not the text really in the gutter. Like, you can see everything. There's plenty of space. You don't get a ton of margin space at the top. Again, that's the difference between this Bible and the Cambridge or the Schuyler, who they make a smaller font and give you more margins. Well, this, you're getting a larger font. It's a 10 and a half, very readable, beautiful font. Um, and But you get the margins out here on this, on, on the outside of the page and a little bit on the bottom. You see red accents on the page. So for the headers, the chapter headers, the uh, chapter numbers, and then red accents here in the uh, references and the textual notes. So it's a 10 and a half point font. It is line matched and it's 36 GSM paper. Now some wide margins opt for thicker paper. And so I would say before you just dive in with your favorite pen, find an inconspicuous place to write and make sure it's not gonna bleed through. 36 is very nice. This paper is lovely. This seems to me to be the same paper that they use on their other Premier Collection Bibles, which I like a lot. It has a great texture to it. It's very opaque. So because the text is line matched, even these places where there's space and you can sort of see the words on the other side of the page, that paper is, is opaque enough that it's not really a distraction. So a great Bible to study with. Um, again, 36 GSM paper, it's line matched. Um, you, you get this really good, lovely 10 and a half point font. I just think it looks really sharp. You get, um, it's everything, everything's verse by verse, but you get a poetic setting in the books of poetry and the passages that are poetic. So that looks really nice. I love these little, the red accents here for those headings. I also noticed that some of the, um, the markers in the text are red. So it's telling you where to go in the footnotes. Those are in there. And they're not um, distracting, but they look really, really nice. So, man, it's a big, wide, lovely Bible. Um, getting back here to the New Testament, this is a red-letter text edition. So again, book introductions, verse by verse. But then when we get into the words of Christ, you have a really red letter. Let me show you what that looks like. A nice, bold, even red. I like this a lot. It's reminding me right now of the red in the, um, the NKJV Topaz that I recently reviewed. I loved the red on that. So in, genu in general, I tend to opt for preferring black letter text Bibles throughout. Um, but if it's going to be red, I want it to look like this. It looks very, very sharp. So same format, verse by verse throughout. References, cross-references, and textual notes at the bottom. 
Looks really sharp, y'all. This Bible is impressive. It's big, it's wide, but it, it, it does what it needs to do. And I can just imagine filling this up with notes along the way as I'm studying. Once you get to the end of Revelation, which is on page 1546, you get a three-column concordance that uses the red accents. That looks very sharp. Easy to read. I don't know what size font that is, but it's comfortable for me to read here standing above it. At the end of the concordance, I have a feeling we're going to get a blank page and then a note about the typeface. Ooh, there's a one-year reading plan in there. That's great. Blank page. And then your note about the comfort print typeface. And then Bible maps. Now, I could be wrong, but this feels like it's a slightly thin. It's glossy, but it feels like it's a little bit thinner than maybe some of the paper they use. I could be wrong about that. But, I mean, that's really the only thing Thomas Nelson needs to do in my in my opinion, is upgrade the maps to like a, even if they did the same maps on a, a Bible paper, I think that would be really sharp. But overall, um, I'm very impressed with this Bible. It's big, it's bold, it has a large print font, it looks great. From top to bottom, it feels very nice, very premium. This is an impressive, impressive Bible. So there you have it. That's the NKJV Large Print Wide Margin Reference Bible from Thomas Nelson. I would love to know what you think about this, so leave me a comment and let me know. You definitely want to check out BibleReviewBlog.com. I've got a full write-up there of the NKJV Large Print Wide Margin, a bunch of great photos, and links to where you can purchase a copy if you're interested in doing that. I've also got those links in the description of this video. If you're not already following Bible Review Blog on Instagram or haven't liked the page on Facebook, make sure you go do that. We've got a great community out there that's chatting about the Bible and uh, keeping each other informed about what's going on out there. And definitely while you're here on YouTube, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I appreciate you so much for watching these videos. Stay tuned. The next video from Bible Review Blog is an anniversary giveaway. It's our one year anniversary here at Bible Review Blog and I'm giving away some awesome Bibles, so stay tuned for that for sure. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.